Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gamestar TV. We are bringing you, once again, our Sunday night special, which is the VEC Online League of Legends tournament, played straight out of Wellington. My name is Crisis, and I'm joined in the studio by EJ. Good evening, EJ. Good evening, Crisis. Good evening, listeners. And yes, it is our Sunday night special, and we're looking forward to another fantastic round of VEC Action Crisis. Yeah, it should be good. We got uh, two of the top teams in the competition. Let's oh, yeah. just call them that. Uh, playing tonight, we got Beta Particles on the blue side versus Team Flaccid on the purple side. And I really love the name Team Flaccid because, of course, their shortened uh, their their acronym is FL. And as you know, EJ, as you would know, uh, being an old guy like me, an FL is a is slang for a condom. Is slang for what? A condom. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Okay, yeah. maybe in South Africa. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it's it's a British thing because uh, FL stands for French letter. So Ah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. there you go. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Wow. So quite, uh, quite ironic, I think, that flaccid would boys, be called uh, FL. boys use protection. They do. They do. Yeah. So very good. Well, let's run through the teams very quickly. going to protect them when they get pwned up the ass tonight by these uh, Electron boys on the blue side. But, 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 but you beta know. particles. Beta particles. Yeah, they didn't take our advice from last week. I guess they might have not watched the 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 vod yet, where we said they should have changed. The ch they should have named themselves Alpha Particles. Oh yeah. But you know, th who knows? It's mid season. They might change. I their do names have yet. to say though, Crisis, our Man of the Match awards are going off like an absolute firecracker, and we even had a post on our Facebook page of oh. a dude with his. Uh, Man of the Match Award. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Well, we'll be doing that promotion tonight as well, ladies and gentlemen. And this is something that goes for every match uh, that gets broadcast here on Gamestar TV. We put up uh, 10 bucks, basically, for a Man of the Match, uh, an MVP award for every single game that gets played. And we send them out to you with a pretty spectacular card, I have to say. And, you know, you get to feel all special and buy yourself a new skin. All right, let's have a look at the teams. On the blue side, we got Beta Particles, we got Sea Man Drowning, Akorthus, Sea Man Drowned, Lord Phoenix, and Firefly. And on the red team, uh, Team Flaccid, represented by Limes, Opel Pro, Lazarus, Pro Double E, and Valen. And I do. All righty. Don't do forget, you can join us in Twitch chat if you've got any comments on the teams tonight, players you want us to focus on in the coverage or anything, give us a hoy. Over on the GameStar 2 Twitch chat. All right, so let's have a quick look at these uh, picks and bands as they've gone through. So in terms of the first, uh, the bands uh, from Beta Particles, Azir, Jinx, Tristana. So Azir, top tier at the moment. You do like the Azir, don't you, uh, EJ? My favorite character, dude. I'm looking forward to it tonight. Hopefully it goes off. No, no, no. Um, it's been banned. some heavy play in the um, uh, some of the pro leagues. Yeah, and uh, in fact, we saw a couple of Azirs. Oh, no, we didn't see any Azirs today because uh, they got banned earlier on in um, in the OUC regional uh, championships. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah Azir, top pick at the player. moment. So no surprises there that he's gotten rid of. And then Jinx and Tristana. So both Jinx and Tristana late game tower shredders. So uh, I guess the blue team have decided they don't want to have any sorts of shredding going on, any sort of rapid uh, pushes of towers going down or anything like that. Um, and they don't want the range of either of those two. So I reckon we're going to see maybe a Siva or a Vayne um, on their part nice. in the bottom lane. Or I suppose it could be a Corky. Corky matches nicely with the Leona. Or a Graves! There you go. So we get a Graves, and he is a very much in-your-face, uh, all-in sort of ADC. And that's why he combines so well with Leona. And that'll explain why they don't want Jinx and Tristana, because Jinx and Tristana just would maintain range over... Um, over the graves and punish him every time he went all in. So no surprises there. Oh, talking of going all in, hang dude. On. What? Uh, I drowned no, Seaman. No, over. I drowned Seaman. Uh, talking about going all in. He's backing the beta particles out of Twitch chat tonight. Oh, fantastic! Shout out yeah. uh, to Seaman drowned. No, no, I drowned Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing in words, dude. It's it's like uh, kooky kooky students. Too many lentils. All right, and a shout-out to the boys at Performance Gaming who are hosting our stream as well, which is interesting. 
They got three viewers. Shout out to the three viewers on the Performance Gaming Channel. Come on over to Gamestar TV too, guys, and enjoy a bit of the uh, the original. Get out there, man! Shout out to Mav, yeah, yep. <laughs> and a shout out to Hamco as well. All right, let's just get back to the band champions. So, band champions for Team Flaccid: Talon, Rumble, and Renekton. We saw a Talon earlier on today in the OUC, but that has got to be a targeted ban. Uh, no, not really a top tier pick these days. Uh, an assassin that really needs to get rolling. So, Seaman Drowned must have a bit of a reputation for his talent play. So, he's been knocked out. Rumble, on the other hand, uh, top tier pick for the top lane. So, no surprises there. Renekton has to be a targeted ban at Seaman Drowning. Yep. But yep. jokes on them, uh, jokes on Team Flaster DJ, because he's picked up Irelia. And Irelia yes. is just awesome. Powerful. All right. Uh, so, we are just about. Oh. I didn't put the summoner's blackout. Sorry, guys. There you go. Summoner's blackout is back on. There you go. Uh, so we're just about into the three-minute delay, and we can have a look at uh, how this bottom lane turned out for Team Flaccid. We've got Corky and um, Alistar combining against. As it turns out, Lord Phoenix decided not to go with um, with the Graves. No. Picked up the Israel instead. Israel instead, yeah. And we lost the Leona as well. Up. It was all bluff play, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was. Had me all waxing lyrical about one of the few things I know about, which is Leona play, because I play Leona. You played Graves a bit too, didn't you? Yes, but very, very badly. So. Oh, you know, yes. <laughs> if I say anything about any ADC, whoops, uh, you just need to actually ignore it and do the opposite, because that's the best way. So Firefly instead has picked up Nami, uh, the fish lady. And well, we'll we'll have to see. So Nami's about controlling the lane with uh, with CC, whereas uh, Valen's Alistar is all about uh, is all about peel more than anything else. Peel and yep. engage. So Nami's not so much uh, a, a, a peeler or an engager. It's more about enabling the ADC to uh, control the lane with CC slows and and um, and uh, slows and and a knock up as well, range knock up, but. Uh, much more about uh, looking after uh, the ADC than Valen's Alistar is going to be after. Well, there's going to be a bit of peel, but I suspect hard engage there, uh, getting the pulverize and headbutt combo going um, onto his opponents. Of course, Lord Phoenix ADC, uh, Lord Phoenix as the as the Israel um, EJ um, yep. has got a great kit to be able to avoid getting knocked about by Alistar. Well, he's going to need that tonight, dude, because he owes I Drown Seaman 10 bucks. So I Drown Seaman is really hoping he plays the Ezreal well and picks up the MVP, and he can pay him in the RP he wins from us. Oh, all right. Well, we'll have to keep our eye on him and see how he does. So in and the Hamco, dude, Hamco's got it in for you. He reckons you are so shit at Leona, it's not funny. <laughs> you couldn't Leona if you had to Leona your way out of Leona town. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever seen me play Leona. Well, I think the uh, that's a challenge, dude. We'll have to organise a game. Hamco can bring four of his buddies, you bring four of your buddies, and Leona versus Hamco. Oh, dear, I don't know if I have four friends. Oh, no, we could... Yeah, well, we'll put together an, a, 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 a game star team. There you go. We'll get some pub sluts if need be. Yeah. So, in the mid lane, we've got Ari versus Yasuo. Now, Yasuo, we haven't seen a lot of in recent weeks. Uh, that said, I think uh, he featured in the LCS. He came back and it was probably being played by Shao Wei Shao, who isn't playing for the next seven months, of course. Uh, did you did you hear about that, EJ? Shao Wei Shao getting banned? What was he banned for, dude? Man, he was ELO boosting. So, you, you know, he was logging on to somebody else's uh, account and playing on their behalf so that they got a better rank. But it was a little bit, he was ELO boosting for money. And then there was some other stuff as well. He, like, was looking to sell an account, uh, a completely unlocked account. So he got banned for seven yep. months. So he won't yep. be able to play the LCS. And, of course, today, his team, Team Impulse, yep. knocked out of playoffs of the LCS. Choked, Choked with outing. Do you know what was so interesting? I didn't wa look. I didn't watch all three games, uh, a as you can imagine. But yes. in the analysis of the games where the team won, not one mention was made of the fact that their uh, the team impulses mid laner was missing. And that was probably by instruction. Yeah, probably. Like, don't yeah. mention the elephant yeah. in the room. It was like yeah, yeah. all the, the the team impulse lost for every other reason besides yeah. the fact that uh, they just had their player their their mid laner band 
And it's not independent coverage, dude. It's corporate coverage of a corporate event. They're yeah, not going to exactly. raise exactly. corporate issues. They're not going to raise that sort of stuff. And Did they talk about the drug testing? I thought that was a good move. Um, no, that's ESL, though, isn't it? But or it's still, it's that's good for esports be... in general, dude. That they, you know, going after the dope smokers playing the esports. It's awesome. How I mean, it, it must help their game so much. <laughs> Speed, I could understand, but... <laughs> I was going to say, how on earth is testing for marijuana going to make any difference whatsoever? Like that's, that's, that's one they're targeting. But but uh, sorry, uh, what I meant was, how is it actually going to ever improve a person's play? I don't know, but we missed the skin battle. Did we? No, we haven't. Yeah. Oh, I've loaded in. Oh no, I haven't. I'm still looking oh, quick, at the skin battle. Who won the skin battle? Oh shoot! Uh, something's happened, and I've lost. Um, I've lost, uh, I've lost the connection completely. Oh dear. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Let me Leave see. It to I... me, dude. I'll take it away. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I can, um, well, I can load up. Game, I'm dude. spectating off of you. Around. There's a bit of uh, <laughs> pokey pokey around the river. And um, oh look, there's Crisis' screen. Oh look, there's an Azia picture on Crisis' screen. Yeah, there you go. It's loading up now. It's loading up now. I've been having these weird PvP.net disconnection errors and oh, yeah. weird, weird stuff. So I got disconnected. I was still looking at Champ Select, man. <laughs> oh, that's all good. Well, nothing's happened. We're a minute into the uh, match. We're waiting for the uh, first major spawn wave to come through. And there's been no invades from either team. They put some wards out to get in some vision up early in the river. Um, no, nothing, nothing unpredictable. It's just a pretty standard, stock standard start. All right, fantastic. Well, I am in the game now, and we've got, uh, yeah, pretty much the usual standing starts. Uh, just, and I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, fantastic. Do it. Do it. So down at the bottom lane, a Corthus is going to be jungling uh, with the Malphite. You don't often see a Malphite jungle these days, but I guess he's feeling brave, and he's got a groovy skin, so... He's going to go for it and start down at the Krug. So Lord Phoenix will help him over there. And that might mean that I really uh, can start off uh, by taking the Gromp, but has decided not to. Headed to the top lane. In the mid lane, Ari versus Yasuo. Just getting their farm on. And the bottom laners will arrive together. So neither of them would have actually got any sorts of XP boost from helping their jungles, for leashing uh, for their jungles. So no early level 2 here. The only difference is Maokai will pick up an early level 2 because he's finished off that camp um, with the old Maokai tricky business. Using his saplings, basically taking things down. So let's just see if I've got this going. There you go. So Valen looking to put together a combo and really just gra dashing uh, or smashing the ground there, uh, getting a pulverize down, but uh, forgetting to headbutt at the same time. So now trying to zone Firefly and doing so successfully, just driving him away a little bit, but really just looking menacing more than achieving a huge amount. I don't think Firefly was even out of XP range there uh, for that minute. Junglers neck and neck at the moment with the Reds going to Opal Pro. And Corthus uh, picking up uh, his blue. So that'll be double bash for both of them. Got an engage down there. Firefly getting a bit of an attention, but Pro E uh, far too focused really on getting his farm down to take advantage of Firefly getting knocked about. But of course, uh, Firefly with Nami's heal is going to be able to keep the sustain going. Shouldn't have too much of a problem there. Opal Pro taking a bit of damage and will head on back, so nothing to worry over there. Uh, Corthus picking up his wolves and now might actually decide, is he going to go into lane? No, he's going to go to race. So really just a farm fest, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing happening in this first round. Trades here and there. Probably the most interesting thing happening uh, down at the bottom lane. Ari pushed way, way up and might actually get himself into a little bit of trouble. Seaman uh, Drown taking a lot of damage from Lazarus's ranged attacks. And that just means uh, that if the Malphite does arrive, it's really just to hold the lane more than anything else. So Malphite showing in the mid lane. 
means that everybody in the other lanes can breathe easy. I gotta say, I would have. Uh, I suppose, you, you know, I was gonna say pick Leona uh, to go with Lord Phoenix's Israel, but going up against an Alistar, not really such a good idea. With Malphite in the jungle, uh, sorry, in the mid lane. Revealing himself. We've got a little bit of a counter jungle uh, going on from Opal Pro. He comes through and uh, gets a little bit of damage down onto our Corthus, but that is all. And then heads on back. Corthus is going to blue pill after taking that damage, which means that we might have Opal putting together a gank down at the bottom lane. Spotted by the ward. So in comes the flash from Valen. Flashes all around, in fact, Lord Phoenix, the one who needs to get out and does so with a little bit of flux. The Seaman Drown coming down to see if he can pick up some dregs underneath the turret. Well, he's wandered all the way down here, but a 3 versus 1, I don't know if he's going to do so well against that. But it's enough, enough uh, to drive the jungler away. And hold the lane. Malphus back in lane. So has showed himself once again. Ari knows that it's free farm time. And will try to punish the Yasuo's roam by pushing his lane forward. In the top lane. Not much happening in the top lane. No. Lime's uh, pushing his lane all the way up. And he can safely do so because, of course, uh, the uh, uh, Echo has shown himself several times. Seaman Drown is getting well zoned uh, out of getting... XP and gold, but finally manages to get into lane, and he's already down to 50% HP, less than 50% HP from Lazarus's harassment. Alright, so fairly solid start there, Crisis, by both teams here in this opening match. We got a double header tonight? Whoa, we're gonna have a gang C match. Oh, mid lane! Goes go. down to first blood. Lazarus picks that up, 400 gold, and that is a nice little move there. You can see it coming from a mile away, which probably means, EJ, that I should have said something about it before it happened. Don't keep the audience in suspense, dude. They love it. <laughs> they do seven minutes as how long it took for the first blood. And FL already building up a bit of a lead. Look at that. Nine, what's, it's uh, just short of a thousand golds lead. And most of that from that beautiful first blood on the RE. Oh, Lord Phoenix going in. He's used his flux to get in uh, range. And that is oh, going to be punished Phoenix by Valen. Who gets the knockdown. Now the question is where the Firefly is also going to go down. He manages to uh, kind of swim away. away. Oh, my parrot's loving the cast tonight. Shout out to Oscar. Shout out to Oscar. She's joining me. Anyone wants a shout out from Oscar, let me know in the Twitch chat. I'll do my best. I thought Oscar was a boy. Um, no, no, girl lays eggs. Oh, we got a gank going on in the mid lane. Of course, this has arrived. The Ignite ticks over and Seaman Drown picks up a revenge kill on the Ari. And that is very, very nicely done. Ari uh, punished yep, for being a little bit careless. Seaman Drowning going in hard out onto Limes. And doesn't really have much HP to be able to survive much. Limes pops his ulti. As a kind of that would have stopped that. Well, it's kind of more of posturing more than anything else, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but interesting thing is that Limes just TP'd back into lane, so that is a TP down. In fact, both of them have used their teleport, so TP's. And the uh, bottom tower is about to go, by the way. Yep. There is the door now. So turret number one at eight and a half minutes, two to one the kills, and Flaccid. Really taking control of this game. Yeah, Flaccid just starting to assert their dominance in the match here. We did say earlier in the uh, cast, two top teams going at it tonight. Beta Particles are really going to have to step up. And uh, shout out to Firefly's girlfriend, Steve. Steve have a dick? I hope that's a female Steve. I Maybe it's like... Um, what's that band with Stevie Nicks? <laughs> There you go, Fleetwood Mac. That's it, Fleetwood Mac. Maybe, maybe it's... Ask the old bastard a safe question. Thanks, dude. I tell you what, Fleet... <laughs> <laughs> Fleetwood Mac is coming to Dunedin, and so maybe, maybe it is actually Stevie Nicks. Oh, you good You never well know. Be. Imagine no. Dragons is into yeah. League of Legends. Maybe Stevie Nicks yeah. is as well. So we've got yeah. a gang coming into the top lane. Echo is up there, and Seaman Drowning, using all the tricks in the book, gets a dash and a flash, 
and out of trouble. Out of there. Beautifully done. Beautifully played. Nice little jinxing. And they're pushing that uh, top tower or trying to at the moment. Still keeping both in lane. Yeah, Seaman Drowning is then sticking around. And of course... And he's got some backup from his jungler. Yeah, exactly. Akorthus arriving in lane. And this has kind of been the story of Akorthus' life. But for that one gank, which was uh, to arrive in lane to show his face. Okay, and we've got a big push coming in from the bottom lane here at the moment, Crisis. Yeah, Seaman Drowned is the target. Uh, we've got a flash and then a pulverize oh, from the knockup. Nice little uh, move over there. Valen tanking the tower. Yasuo tries oh. everything but isn't able to get away. Just like that, we've got four players, EJ, taking yeah. down the mid tower. Oh, Hanko's still unhappy with you, dude. You haven't done a shout-out to him tonight. I did a shout-out, like, at the beginning of the game. Oh, there yeah, you go, Hanko. You've had it, man. Yeah. yeah. Any more than that, and you've got to pay. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. So, Dragon number one is going to be going very easily to Team Placid. Taking advantage of... Oh, it's almost stolen by Israel's ulti. Wow. But not quite. So... Placid will be Almost very, very timing. pleased. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I think that was blind as well. There was no, there were no, um, there was just his spidey sense that was going off there. Would have been classic. 11 minutes steal with the uh, mystic shot. All right, Akothus just coming no, in the mid, just right. pushing around. Not much happening. Good ward control up from the red team. Flaccid, they got good vision at the moment. Oh, and just like that, Echo decides to get himself ex executed. And that was on stream as well. I was watching that. So, 11 and a half minutes. The gold lead extended, EJ, to 3,000 in, in favor of Team Flaccid. Uh, yep, and I drown Seaman. And my advice would be to start playing for beta particles, and that would get those cheeks opened up very quickly. <laughs> I... Th do you see, now the thing is, I drowned Seaman, Seaman drowned, and Seaman drowning. You think they might be the same person? All or once. a family? Or possibly. Possibly a family. Hey, we need... Maybe what I sound very incestuous, so maybe you shouldn't come, come we, on. We slide, need but. somebody to volunteer for moderator. Oh, Hamco's a moderator. There you go. Oh, Hamco's uh, abandoned dudes. There too. you go. Nice one. Yeah. Now we've got a push business. here from a flaccid up the uh, river at the moment. They're going to come in behind the top lane here. And um, try and take this tower out. Seaman Drowning is aware of the danger. They're in on him now. It's all on on Drowning time. Yeah. He's best, but he's got absolutely no chance, Crisis. No, not at all. Lines uh, tanking the turret well. there. Gets out of the range. And that's the second time they pull this gamut. It's a four-man gank into a lane. And then they take the tower straight away after that. And now they're and rolling down. Lanes, uh, oh, dear. Seaman Drown, the uh, counterpart, goes down. This was just kind of standing there for a while. Yeah, yeah. swinging his sword and hoping for the best. So that'll Second be another time. Second going to go in the top lane here. Very strong push. Top tier turret or second tier turret are going to go down. Lions gets a little bit of a ticket there, a tickle from the True Shot Garage. Lord Phoenix uh, split pushing at the moment, hoping to pick up a consolation turret as he arrives with two waves of minions. I'm sure he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, no, he'll take that one. Oh, we got uh, someone's TP in, in, though. And Lord Phoenix says, I'm out of there. <laughs> Run yeah. away. Limes arrives, clears the wave, and that puts pay to that push. So it is still four turrets to nothing before the 15-minute mark. EJ, Flaccid are super, super in control. Yeah, their Viagra is definitely kicking in. Shout out to Alt24, who's uh, in the chat channel of uh, Twitch and having a tune in as well. I don't know why I should hide the chat, Hamco. What was on the chat? Uh, your mum's phone number. Oh, well. She would like to hear from young boys. <laughs> and uh, she would like to hear what's happening in the mid lane at the moment. Valen's getting his ass out of there as they got a bit of support and pushed that little bit of a poke in back out. Well, we might have uh, a turnaround in Fortunes. Phoenix using his flash to get away. Limes chasing after him. Oh, wants to take trouble. him down. Great Gets God. him with a smack to, uh, to, uh, to the backside as he runs away. And now the focus, quick as you please, is down wow. onto this bottom lane. 
Valen hanging about, pops his ulti so he can tank the turret. Just joined in. Four players from Team Placid. Where we heard, uh, seen this story before, EJ. Pro takes a shot to the face as he tries to hide the push. Unloads on the tower. Listen to it rip. Da -da 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 -da. He loves it. Well, they're just waiting for one more minion wave to arrive. And, and um, Seaman Drown, he could be in trouble in the top lane as well. He's about to get backdoored. Well, I don't know if he's in trouble. He's got a level advantage over the Echo. I think I have... uh, Opal Pro is just there to make sure that they keep yeah, the I turrets stay. alive. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, Lime's taking a bit of damage at this stage. Uh, as there comes the re-engage from Akorthus, but there's nobody to follow up, so it's ready. Get the smack down, and then run on back. Valen comes through. Lord Phoenix is the first to go down. Pro Double E gets his oh. rampage off of that, and straight away it's four versus three at this bottom turret, and surely the bottom turret EJ will go down too. Yep, highly likely. And there was still carnage in the top lane as well. Dual carnage. you got to love a team that gets into some dual carnage. Wait a minute. Did the Echo Yasso, take down Yasso's Aurelia? coming in. Yasso's swinging. Yasso's down. Oh, big balls. But no backup when he swings his sword there. He took four players on. Came off second best. Hoping for the classic Yasuo quadra kill. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not good enough for that. Yeah, unfortunately not able to make that happen. And that is another tier two turret that goes down in favor of Team Flaccid. And just like that, they're all blue pilling out. In fact, everyone's All blue right, pilling. so 16 minutes in, we're 11 to 1 in the kills, 5 to 0 in the towers. Can we get any early predictions going here, Christ? Well, I predict in 30 seconds there's going to be a dragon spawn, and beautiful timing from Team Flaccid. All blue pilling, at the same time, getting their buys in from all of that gold they've made from those tower kills, and heading on down to the dragon. So when it spawns, they'll be chewing it up. And the Beta Particle fanboys have gone quiet in the Twitch chat. They realise the pressure's on. But I think if they give a bit of a rah-rah, it might help their team. Dragon has spawned. Dragon is under attack. And just like that, we've got all of the players just about. In fact, every single player from Flaccid. Beta Particle's coming over. They might go for a bit of a steal here if they're yeah, quick enough. Yeah, Lazarus gets himself a cheeky little oh, uh, face check no, kill so onto the Nami. Nicely done. So 12 to 1 at the 17 minute mark, EJ. The gold lead now 9,000 in favor of Flaccid. And they are now moving their focus to the only tier 2 turret that's still up, and that's in the mid lane. And if you're looking for love in the League of Legends world, don't forget to check the GameStar chat on Twitch, where you too might find it lucky with some hot single dudes. Dominating. By the way, sorry, I should have been watching that mid lane. EJ, I don't know if you caught the stream today. That GameStar was broadcasting for Remo Gaming, Remo Gaming, but I had a bit of split push cam going. Oh, nice one! Yeah, not tonight because, I, well, here we go. Big team fight. Pro Double E gets his godlike oh, with yet another kill. Team. He might, in fact, get a double off of that fight. In fact, there he goes. He gets it, looking for his triple now. Lord Phoenix gets taken down too quickly though by Lazarus. And uh, Limes has got himself isolated. Yeah, Seaman Drowning out. picks up a Constellation kill, but doesn't matter because here come the minions, and that is going to be an inhib turret out of their team fight. Very strong push by the uh, Flaccid boys there. Turret down, the inhibitor going as Crisis said next. And uh, I am, there we go, the inhibitor down. So, Beta Particles doing a tough. I reckon they need to try Ninja in the top lane. That, that'd be their best bet. Well, let's have a look at the situation. We've got minions doing work on the top lane turret. And not a lot of vision for the beta particles. No, Just true. the one ward at the blue. So they'll be able to see that Echo is still in lane. But Echo, of course, has just taken the wisp. So he knows that he is going to have to book it out there. But he's so confident, in fact. He still takes the grub. Seaman oh, Drowning comes in. Near the uh, blue. Seaman drowning, just chasing, um... Oh, nice jump Seaman over the wall. is there. Oh, Yasu comes in from behind, though. Crisis might pull him up in the ladder. Well, oh, in the river, I should say. Ladder, that's pretty good. Limes pushes him off, though. Yeah, the Ignite oh, ticks uh, take him down, though. So Echo's taken out. Limes is getting attacked. A bit of a combo over there, but so little damage 
from Seaman Drown out of yeah. death. Limes might actually still be able to get away from this as the reinforcements arrive. Limes turns around and taunts them. Oh, go Limes. Man, unbelievable, he's going to get off Seaman Drown with a one-track mine at the moment, trying to take oh, him down, gets oh, himself play. isolated. Ari absolutely cleaning up. Lazarus picking up his triple kill out of that, and that was an invade too deep from the And that was all due particles. to the Limes' just turn around. Come get some! Taunt on the uh, boys from Beta Particles. They fell for it, they pushed in, and as you said, cleaned up. Still managed to get away. Look at this, Valen chasing a Corthus all the way down to his... Uh, to his base, so preventing him from just blue pilling. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pro Double E in the bottom lane has been split pushing and gets a couple of taps on the bottom lane turret and decides, well, he's going to stick around because he's got a he's got some help. I think he's he's baiting. Surely the team will know that he's baiting. Lazarus just clearing a minion wave coming through on uh, top lane as well, just to make sure that the beta particle boys have to keep an eye on both sides of the base. And that's it for the down, for the push down at the bottom lane. A moment's respite for the beta particles. Is it beta or beta? Well, either way, all I know is Fighter Fly thinks, you know, I'm rocking it. That's what he's thinking. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he is. He, he really does. How's his stats, though? Let's publicly lift. We'll just hang on, Fighter Fly. We'll just reach stats out. Let's let people know. Firefly? Firefly? Is he on, well, he's on the Nami, so, you know, he doesn't ah. have. He's a support champion, so he probably Fair doesn't enough. have the greatest stats. No, 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 no. no. He might have had like 0, 4, and 30 or something. He might have been like the support from hell. Yeah, zero, zero, 4, and 1. So, not a huge amount of kill participation. Best, best that said, there have only been 3 OCE. kills, so he's got 30% kill <laughs> participation. Best Nami OCE. Um, is there a website for this tournament, uh, Crisis? We've been asked in Twitch chat. As uh, Baron is well and truly getting hammered. Well, I think he might be asking if we've got a website. So, www.gamestar.com. Otherwise, you can hit us up on facebook.com forward slash gamestar. Because TBTV, Mystic and Z, who's that? Why do you guys not have price broadcast? Look on our YouTube channel, Gamestar TV. There you go. And we took the archive down because we had like 10 years worth of casts there and no one was really uh, watching them. We still have it though. We still have it. Yeah. In fact, EJ, I was going through my stuff. I found years, I think, Left 4 Dead broadcasts from you and I in 2009 and 2010. We've, oh, got to, we've got to get our archive show going. It'll be worth a look at. As the top tower goes, Placid pushing in aggressively. Yeah, Nami calls in the ulti, and the Mystic uh, Two Shot Bajaj comes in. We we got so distracted that uh, there was a Baron that got taken down, EJ. I don't know what I was watching. Oh, no, I was I like, Baron getting weighed into. Oh, did that. you? I was like, totally like, I don't know what I was looking at. Bottom lane or something. You were something. looking at Twitch and hoping someone yelled your name out. Oh, yeah, Christ, something like that. <laughs> and uh, damage going down in the top lane, though. Hey, so this is game. Browning pushed too far forward. GG's all around. And there we go. Blue inhibitor, gone. Woo! The game. Well, I've got a weird game ended with result and without a result, and will now exit. So that is actually oh, a victory so the game for Team Placid. Particles drew. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to I Drown Seaman. MVP out of that Carnage Crisis. Uh, yeah, we've got to pick an MVP. Is what I'm going to say. Corky went well, and so did Lazarus. Um, Corky didn't actually die. Yeah, and he went legendary, uh, so 8.05 on the Corky down at the bottom lane. He got lane. some cash up, and he got some pretty decent uh, creep kill. Lazarus on 8.1 and 6, though, in the mid lane. Powerful, powerful. Did very, yeah. very well. Limes is the Maokai, 1.1 1, 1 and 12, did a great job there. 50% kill participation, just over 50%. Great beta. But yeah. let's stick with Pro Double E on the Corky yep. on Corky's the 8.05. The so congratulations to Pro Double E for making uh, MVP. So hit us up after the broadcast, Pro Double E, with your real name and your mailing address, and we'll get those RP out to you. Ten dollars coming your way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go well, away. Mystic, Mystic, we've been partnered since Twitch started, dude. We're yeah, like old yeah, school. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, EJ, with the next match of tonight, which is going to be the Coon Kings versus oh, Team Flaccid. Oh, oh, oh. Raccoons let loose on the rift. We'll be right back. 